Hi LEGO fans, the Eagle has landed. Today we're going to unbox, build and review NASA Apollo Saturn V set number 21309 with 1969 pieces, or more fittingly, 1969 pieces, which represents the year man first walked on the moon, of course, propelled there by the magnificent Saturn V rocket. This is without a doubt the hottest LEGO release of the year. It was released on June 1st, 2017 and sold out almost immediately in LEGO stores and LEGO online. When I woke up at 6.30 a.m. on the morning of June 1st, it was already on back order at lego.com, but I was able to get one on Amazon just before they sold out. This is the 17th in the line of LEGO Ideas, formerly LEGO Cuso, which is LEGO's fan-inspired series. And this is by far the biggest LEGO Ideas set to be released to date. And it actually represents great value for money. This thing comes in at $125, but you're getting almost 2,000 pieces. Now, if you compare that to the latest LEGO Ultimate Collector Series Snow Speeder, which has only 1,700 pieces, LEGO are charging $200 for that set. This one is only 125, so the price per part count is much lower than other sets of similar size. Not only is this set impressive in its piece count, it's also impressive in its stature. This thing stands at 39.7 inches tall, that is exactly one meter. Let's flip the box over and see how it looks on the back. The really cool thing about this build is that it's modular, exactly like the Saturn V rocket, and it breaks into pieces representing the different stages of the mission. Most of the bulk of the Saturn V rocket was in the first stage, the second stage, and the third stage, and these were here purely to get the rocket away from the Earth. Once the third stage had escaped Earth's atmosphere, the service module would detach, spin around, and connect to the lunar module, and then that very small part of the Saturn V rocket would make its way to the moon for the moon landing, and eventually it would end up back on Earth for splashdown. Everything the guys needed was up in this top section of the Saturn V rocket. Not only do we get the super cool Saturn V rocket, we also get these cool little micro figure astronauts fully printed to go with it, and this little printed piece which shows the American flag. Okay, so clearly I'm not a rocket scientist, but I am a guy who loves playing with Lego. So let's spin this box around, get it open, and see what we've got inside. Cool, let's do this. Awesome. So the first thing I notice is that we get this very premium looking build instruction manual and that looks very nice. Super excited. And what do we not see in there? We do not see a sticker sheet because Lego Ideas sets never come with a sticker sheet. I expect this is going to take about three or four hours to build, but we're going to go ahead and do a speed build for you. Speed this up to about 90 seconds.
And here's the completed build. This took three hours and 18 minutes to put together. And it's amazing, this thing defies my expectations of scale. It stands one meter tall, which is 39.4 inches. And you're gonna have to be really brave to display it like this because although it's really, really sturdy, you know, I wouldn't like to be cleaning around this and accidentally knock it over. So what we're gonna do is show you this on its display stand, which Lego provided with the set. Here's the Saturn V rocket displayed on its side with the display stands that were included. And this is a far more safe way to display the set. But I've got to say, I don't think it has quite the same dramatic effect. The height really makes this set epic. So while we get a sense of scale from this shot, we really need to get in a little bit closer to appreciate the amount of detail that went into this build. We're going to start with a look at the booster rockets. Here's a view from the base of the Saturn V and you can see the five massive F1 engines that propelled this 6.2 million pound rocket into space. I've included the command module to the left and the lunar module to the right to give you a sense of scale of how these compare up against the main girth of the rocket. And we've even got this tiny micro figure astronaut down here and you can see the engines are absolutely colossal in scale compared to the astronauts. Here's a closer view of the engines and you can see all of the fuel lines have been included in the build. This is incredibly detailed and surprisingly these boosters are actually very strong. These are all attached to the base of the rocket using Technic axles and it will stand quite happily on this. Uh, like I say it does make me a little bit nervous but when it's stood up it really does make for a very impressive looking Lego set. The first stage was the most powerful part of the rocket. It had enough fuel to lift the Saturn V to a distance approximately 42 miles above the Earth. And just like the real thing, the Saturn V Lego rocket also separates so you can take off stage two and the following stages from stage one. Doing this requires a little bit of bravery, but it will come away fairly easily as you can see here. The first stage connects to the second stage using these four pairs of red clips that you see within the top of the first stage. This is the base of stage two and you can see the elements here just neatly tucked inside that actually clip into those four pairs of red clips and that holds it very firmly together. This also gives us a good view of the booster rockets on the bottom of stage two and these we use to take the Saturn V from approximately 42 miles above the Earth almost into Earth orbit. Comparing stage one to the remaining stages of the Saturn V rocket gives one a sense of just how much power was needed for that first couple of minutes of space flight to get the rocket off Earth. One of the things I really like about LEGO Idea sets are that these are a sticker-free zone. As you can see, we've got some beautiful printed pieces here representing USA and the American flag. Those are very likely to be custom, unique parts for the Saturn V rocket. We also get some unique printed pieces on the side of stage two. And like the other parts of the rocket, this actually breaks apart so that you can separate stage three from stage two. The mechanism that connects stage two into stage three is very similar to stage one. And as you can see, we've got these pairs of red clips again, which hook into the bottom of stage three. This is the base of stage three. And you can see we've got the elements here to clip into those red clips. And we've also got a single J1 rocket which is going to push this stage into Earth orbit and then beyond into the orbit of the Moon. Stage 3 hides a very cool secret and if we remove the instrument stage from the top we can reveal the lunar module. Now this required a little bit of disassembly but let me show you how this would work when they got to the Moon. So this would be the command module which would separate from the top of the rocket and they would have to spin this around in space and actually dock with the lunar module and there is a little crisscross on top there and then it would simply pull the lunar module away and then that would go into orbit around the moon and this would control the lunar ascent and descent. A good portion of the lunar module would be left on the moon just leaving a part to return up to the command module and this is the module that the crew would use to return to earth. Here's the complete assembly and as you can see we're using some very cool gold elements in here that helps to protect the equipment from radiation in space. And we've also got some very good custom printed parts here for the command module and the outside of the lunar module. And right at the top of the rocket, you can see where the commander module would be situated 
And then finally, we have the launch escape system right at the tippy top. Here's the lunar module on the surface of the moon, and LEGO have given us actually four micro figures to play with on the set. And these are beautifully printed micro figures with astronaut printing. We're gonna take a look at that in a little bit more detail. And you can also see we've got this very cool, clear, transparent piece with the American flag printed upon it. These awesome micro figures were created exclusively for the Saturn V set, and you can't get them anywhere else. The designers of this set have fought through almost every detail of the Apollo 11 moon mission, right down to splashdown on planet Earth. Here you can see the command module having splashed down in the ocean at the end of the mission. You can also see the flotation devices around the base to make sure the module didn't sink, and the remains of the parachute module on the top, which of course would have stopped the module from crashing into the sea at an unacceptable speed, which could have caused harm to the astronauts. Here are the three supports that you can use to display the model horizontally. These are very nice. I particularly like the large cross-section elements we've got here. What I would have liked to have seen maybe was some more bracing. You know, if you can see we squeeze these together and they're pretty loose, it would have been nice to have some bracing at the bottom, but we could easily add that afterwards. So that was the 17th LEGO idea set, the NASA Apollo Saturn V, set number 21309 with 1969 pieces. So this has been one of the most eagerly anticipated LEGO sets that I can remember for quite some time. Has it met my expectations? Absolutely. Is it worth the $125 price tag? Yes, I can't say that emphatically enough. This is a very good value for money LEGO set, and it's almost a no-brainer to have this one in your collection. Thank you for joining us for this Saturn V unboxing, speed build, and review. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button, that really helps us, and don't forget to subscribe for more awesome LEGO content. Also, don't forget to check out my LEGO Ideas playlist. We've got most of the sets, and uh, we've still got a few to review, so keep your eye out for those. Thanks for joining us today, and we'll see you again on the next build video.